Europeans conducted witch hunts throughout the 17th century. And in the late 1600s, fears of witchcraft also swept the North American colonies. Most witch trials in the colonies ended with the accused being pardoned. There were witchcraft outbreaks all the time, uh, all through the colonies, especially the northern colonies. Every few years, there would be someone somewhere accused of witchcraft. And usually they were dealt with fairly easily. The most famous instance of witchcraft hysteria occurred in Salem, Massachusetts in 1692. This started when several adolescent girls began to behave oddly and leveled accusations that they had been cursed. Angry community members in Salem pointed fingers at assertive middle-aged women, but also began to accuse married women from well-respected families. Some men, and even a four-year-old child, were also accused of being witches. Usually, if there's an accusation, the authorities step in, there's a trial, or there's some other kind of adjudication, and it's over. And in the case of Salem, that didn't happen. By the end of the trials, more than 150 Salem residents had been imprisoned. 19 had been executed. One man was pressed to death under the weight of heavy stones for refusing to enter a plea. The adolescent girls who made the original accusations toward the alleged witches eventually admitted they had made up the story. Though the Salem witchcraft trials lasted only a short time, they came to represent the persecution of innocents at the hands of fanatics. <laughs> 